The Geely Cool Race Sport meets another contender in the value subcompact crossover segment, the Chang'an CS35 Plus Lux. Can the newer CS35 Plus Lux deliver a knockout punch against the reigning value subcompact crossover king, the Geely Cool Race Sport SE? Well, gentlemen, it's time for us to find out. Let's do this. The Geely Cool Ray has long reigned as the king of value subcompact crossovers ever since it was introduced in 2019 here in the Philippines. The Cool Ray combined power, convenience, and tech in one handsome and affordable package. Many have come to take the value crown away from the Cool Ray and many have failed. But with age creeping up to this value crossover king, does it still have what it takes? To defend its crown. The Chang'an CS35 Plus Lux is late to the game and it uses that to its fullest advantage. When the CS35 Plus arrived in the Philippines last November 2020, it had potential, but it didn't look quite as edgy and as handsome as the Cool Ray. Fast forward to today and the refreshed 2022 CS35 Plus Lux now looks more handsome and is more than eager to challenge the Geely Cool Ray for supremacy. Here at Reagan's Rides, we do car reviews of SUVs, sports cars, trucks, and everything in between. So subscribe and hit the bell. Okay guys, I just want to clarify to you all that the CS35 Plus that I had in this Comparo is the mid-spec variant, the CS35 Plus Hype, and not the top-spec CS35 Plus Lux. So the fact that it's a mid-spec variant going against a top-spec Geely Cool Ray Sport SE really kind of speaks volumes about uh, the kind of vehicle the CS35 Plus truly is. So now that I've cleared that up, guys, well, back to regular programming. So, who do you think will win? Is it the cool yet aging Geely Cool Ray Sport SE? Or is it the newer Chang'an CS35 Plus Lux? Well, ladies and gentlemen, your guess is as good as mine. But before we begin, I'd like to extend a special shout out and thank you to Geely Fairview for providing the Geely Cool Ray Sport SE and to Chang'an Philippines for lending me the Chang'an CS35 Plus Lux. So without further ado, let's do this. The Geely Cool Ray Sport SE received a mild refresh for 2022 and along with that refresh also came a price increase. You see, the top spec Geely Cool Ray Sport SE that we have here retails for 1,269,000 Philippine pesos which can be eye-watering for future Geely Cool Ray owners. The top spec Chang'an CS35 Plus Lux, on the other hand, retails for only 1,169,000 Philippine pesos, which is exactly 100,000 pesos less than the top spec Geely Cool Ray Sport SE. Now, both of these vehicles have the same five year warranty program, so there's really not much to talk about there. So because the Geely Cool Ray Sport SE is more expensive, well, it can only take four points while the Chang'an CS35 Plus Lux takes 5 points in the price category. The Chang'an CS35 Plus Lux has received a major update for 2022 and it now looks more handsome than before. It gets these distinctive LED DRLs here plus LED headlights and a set of fancy looking LED taillights with an LED light bar. Still, the body shape and profile has been retained from the previous model CS35 Plus Lux, so it still looks chunkier than the sporty looking Geely Cool Ray Sport. 
As such, the Shang'an CS35 Plus Lux only takes 4 points in the Lux category. The Geely Cool Race Sport SE is the older vehicle in this car comparo, but it has aged well through the years. For 2022, it has received a mild update with a refreshed and redesigned front and rear bumpers, a redesigned rear spoiler, and also an updated well, front grille right here. Now, the Geely Cool Ray is still eye-catching despite its age, so it deserves to get 5 points in the looks category. The Geely Cool Ray Sport SE gets uh, practically the same type of cabin materials here as the CS35 Plus Lux, but uh, the Cool Ray Sport SE gets one clear advantage. These, my friends, are ventilated leather seats. Now, the ventilation of these seats makes it more comfortable to, well, to use, especially here in tropical Philippines. Now, aside from these ventilated leather seats, we also have a leather wrap steering wheel here. Plus, uh, the Cool Ray Sport gets a red stitch dashboard here. Well, red leather dashboard here. So, because of these, uh, yeah, the ventilated seats, plus we get more leather here inside, uh, the Geely Cool Ray Sport SE takes five points in the cabin materials category. The CS35 Plus Lux also gets a set of red and black leather seats here, although the seats don't get seat ventilation. We also have a leather wrap steering wheel here, and the top of the dashboard is made out of a soft touch plastic material. Still guys, even if we do get a lot of soft touch materials here inside, there are still a bit more hard plastics here in the cabin of the CS35 Plus Lux uh, when you compare it to the Geely Cool Ray Sport. As such, well, the CS35 Plus Lux only takes 4 points in the cabin materials category. The Geely Cool Ray Sport was ahead of its time in terms of tech and safety when it first came out in 2019. It had a fully digital instrument gauge cluster here, plus a 10.25 inch touchscreen infotainment system that also has the sharpest looking 360 degree view camera image in the market at that time. Now, in terms of safety, well, as you can see on your screen, the Geely Cool Ray is also above average when it comes to the safety bits, but it's not really enough to match the ones found in the Shang'an CS35 Plus Lux. The Geely Cool Ray Sport also doesn't get a wireless charge pad, which the CS35 Plus Lux gets. So, because of all that, well, the Geely Cool Ray Sport SE can only take 4 points in the tech and safety category. The CS35 Plus Lux also gets the same tech and safety bits as the Geely Cool Ray Sport, but it gets a little bit more than its contender. You see, we get a fully digital instrument gauge cluster here that merges seamlessly with a 10-inch touchscreen infotainment system. This infotainment system also has the image of a 360-degree view camera and the image quality is the same as the Geely Cool Ray. However, guys, when it comes to, to the safety bits, well, the CS35 Plus Lux pulls way ahead. Now, as you're seeing on your screen, guys, this vehicle also comes with ADAS or Advanced Driver Assist Aids and we get goodies like Adaptive Cruise Control, we get Lane, lane Departure Alert, and we also get Emergency Braking and Forward Collision Alert. Now, because this CS35 Plus Lux comes with ADAS, well, guys, it takes 5 points in the Tech and Safety category. Let's go. 
the Gilly Cool Ray Sports back seat is a tad bit tighter than the one I found in the Shangan CS35 Plus Lux. We also have lesser amenities here because this Cool Ray Sport SE does not get rear AC vents here. Uh, instead, it only gets a solo USB charge port. The Geely Cool Ray Sport SE takes another hit when it comes to the actual cargo capacity. You see, the Cool Ray can only muster 330 liters of cargo space here, which is, yeah, it's a lot less than the ones found in the Shangan CS35 Plus Lux. Now, as such, well, the Geely Cool Ray Sport SE can only take four points in the space category. The Shangan CS35 Plus Lux gets a slightly chunkier body versus the Geely Cool Ray Sport, which translates to more backseat space here. We also have some amenities here at the back. We've got a uh, uh, center armrest here with a couple of cup holders. We have a solo USB charge port and a solo, well, AC vent, which is better than none. The chunkier body of the CS35 Plus Lux also translates to more cargo space here at the back. At over 400 liters of trunk space, well, this can accommodate more stuff than the Geely Cool Ray Sport. As such, the CS35 Plus Lux takes 5 points in the space category. The Shang'an CS35 Plus Lux might be down by a bit on horsepower, but it is endowed with slightly more torque than the Geely Cool Ray Sport. You see, it has a 1.4-liter turbocharged gasoline motor that puts out 158 horsepower and around 260 newton meters of torque. Now, the CS35 Plus Lux also has the same transmission type as the Geely Cool Ray. We have a 7-speed wet-type dual-clutch transmission here. So, the driving feel of this vehicle is the same as the Geely Cool Ray. You see, the steering feel is also quite sharp and it also, it also has a good amount of heft to it. And yes, it just feels so similar to the Geely Cool Ray. Now, the fuel consumption figures is also really good because city drives return to me 12 kilometers per liter, while a highway drive returned to me 15.8 kilometers per liter. So it's quite similar to the fuel consumption of the Geely Cool Ray. The thing is, the CS35 Plus Lux also has advanced driver assist aids such as adaptive cruise control and we also have emergency braking, uh, forward collision alert, and lane departure alert. Now, all of these uh, safety bits, all of these driver assist aids, and the driving performance of the CS35 Plus Lux is enough to give this vehicle 5 points in the drive category. The Geely Cool Ray Sport SE's biggest ace is its driving performance. It has a 1.5-liter turbocharged three-cylinder motor uh, that puts out 177 horsepower and 255 newton meters of torque. Now, it can deliver an engaging driving experience uh, because we also have a light yet sharp steering feel in this vehicle. Now, as for the fuel economy, well, the Geely Cool Ray Sport SE is equipped with three drive modes, an Eco, a Sport, and a Normal mode. And if you pop it in Eco mode, then you can still get 10 to 11 kilometers per liter in the city and 17 kilometers per liter on the highway. So because of this stellar driving experience that you can get from the Geely Cool Ray Sport SE, it deserves five points in the drive category. The Shang'an CS35 Plus, uh, being the newer contender here, easily took the win over the reigning value subcompact crossover champion, the Geely Cool Ray Sport SE. 
Now, Shanghai Philippines managed to price the CS35 Plus quite well, such that it offered a tremendous value while giving the same driving performance as the Geely Cool Race Sport. The CS35 Plus also gets uh, more safety bits, so that is an added plus for the newer contender. Now, the Geely Cool Race Sport SE, on the other hand, uh, despite being the older vehicle in this car comparo, still managed to hold its own quite well against the CS35 Plus Lux. Now, it's not enough to take the win, but guys, this just shows you how far ahead of its time the Geely Cool Race Sport SE truly is. Well, gentlemen and ladies, I hope you enjoy this car comparo. And until my next one, thanks for watching.